Hello and welcome to The Corner, a free space where we discuss issues that matter to the young people. I'm your host, Yvonne Kadzo. So over the years, infidelity has been an issue to both old and young people. And today we are discussing that crisis. And before we begin, we asked a few Kenyans if they've ever been cheated on or if they have cheated. And this is what they had to say. Yes, I've been cheated on and uh, this is Nairobi. Mm. I've been cheated on several times. <laughs> Yeah, Mbeleni, like it was a relationship. I a, I a marriage. Yes, I have. Once I was cheated, mm, I don't think I've ever cheated. Yeah, I have been. No. Yeah, I've never cheated. Nime chitio mara mingi sana. Ata mimi pia nime sa jaru pia kuchit. But how exactly now do we handle this crisis? I'm not alone in the studio today. I have beautiful people with me. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can start with introduction. Hello, guys. Should I say hello, guys? <laughs> Whichever. <laughs> I'm used to saying that. Okay, my name is Faith Ndunda, currently mm -hmm. a student at Nibs Technical College pursuing Diploma in Business Management. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no better way than to share what you've experienced for others to learn yeah. and uh, just to, you know, to make our, our world a better place to live in. So yeah. that's, in short, that's me for now. <laughs> yeah, Prince. My name is Prince Narams. I'm born again, a missionary. And uh, I am a former Sina, turned mm -hmm. uh, Christ ambassador. Yeah, Yeah. that's very nice. Mm. Yes, my name is Dixon Moll. Um, I'm married and family therapist. Uh, trained from Park University mm -hmm. and I like working with young people. Uh, I'm married to one wife and four children. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much for coming. So now getting into the conversation directly, if you can start with Narams, you said a former sinner. Yeah. If you can tell us what does that really mean and what does it entail? A former sinner, uh, if I take the context of uh, this topic, mm -hmm. I'll say I used to cheat on my so many. I, I, I did cheat on my so, so many times, mm -hmm. but uh, I have come to understand mm -hmm. uh, and uh, to repent. It mm -hmm. is something that I'm not um, proud of, mm -hmm. but I have come to understand mm -hmm. what marriage is. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if I may ask, mm -hmm. now during that time, what led you, you know, to cheat mm -hmm. on your wife? As much as maybe I would blame people and say a lot of things, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just put it into one context and say, mm -hmm. I think I was immature, it was immaturity. I, I think I didn't understand what marriage is, mm -hmm. what commitment is, what love is. So basically, as much as maybe you can blame a lot of people and say, oh, this one led me to this, mm -hmm. this one did this, this situation made me do this. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you just come to the epitome of it, mm -hmm. the end of it all, I think it's all about immaturity mm -hmm. and not understanding your calling and your purpose in life mm -hmm. and even on the basis of marriage mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's very true if i can go to faith faith mm -hmm. now you you didn't cheat on your husband i don't have one <laughs> 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 uh, but you now cheated with someone else maybe yeah. you can share uh, that with us so mine was kind of a choice mm -hmm. i just chose to get a lot like to play along with this married man because i felt over the years the people who would approach me mostly were the married people some like mm -hmm. in corona time mm -hmm. so let me just play along and and see taisha because mm -hmm. they kept on telling us after three months mm -hmm. so i thought in mm -hmm. my mind that after everything mm -hmm. job place mbali kwenye nilikuwa naendanga but uh, uh, fortunately dad put a job for me karibu mm -hmm. na your place to happen to penye the guy who was now caught in me mm -hmm. so you go obviously in gumu i didn't mm -hmm. see the future i didn't see uh ever coming out of our community and you know make a job so everybody's mm. talking about it hey, mm. we are making a case so we are shall mock and that's yeah. it so i can relax in the process but uh, i learned a lot of lessons mm -hmm. Because later on, uh, the woman now, mm -hmm. you just playing around the place. Mm -hmm. So the, the wife now, mm -hmm. now, even before we get yeah, to, to, uh -huh. to the wife knowing, how did this guy even approach you? Or were you the one who approached the ah, guy? No. <laughs> <laughs> he approached me, obviously. Mm -hmm. And uh, he came uh, with a lot of lies. You know, when guys cheat, you've been there, okay? You come and tell us. Uh, negative things about your wife um said you could pick up on a banana car on a dad you pack up my food on all that so and, and so i thought that hey kumbe when you're when you're this time so nimi misasa maisha sa imanza kuwa smooth you know 
ukianza ku date msee married unaona ngale like is the next level for you yeah. this person take you out we do this for you we do we doing this for you mm -hmm. but the approach they come with mm -hmm. ni my, my wife is so bad mm -hmm. she does this i don't mm -hmm. like it mm -hmm. you are even the most beautiful person i've ever met and mm -hmm. i fell for it mm -hmm. unknowingly did you ever question him like okay if your wife is this bad why are you still with with her <laughs> Okay, they kept telling me because it's not one person. Oh, okay. They kept telling me that to uh, touch next year, Kwanza. Kwanza ta Tanzania like, kijana. It's like to be too kama uto to. He keeps on giving you a hope, mm -hmm. and yaita ikuwa kud, yaita ikuja kuwa. Ah, uh, true. You know, like you're dating, in, kude to say married, nika ku drive a government vehicle. Mm -hmm. You gari ita kuwa yako. Trajuanga ile gari tu kwa nanga lakini si yako. Mm -hmm. In retirement, gari wendi na mahali. Uta irudisha. And that was it. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. Mr. Dixon. Mm -hmm. uh, in your cause of uh, helping people with marriage uh, counseling. Now, if I may ask, what exactly leads people, you know, to cheat on their wives or to opt for, you know, having side dishes and all that? First of all, it's uh, during um, the times of uh, growing up and dating, mm -hmm. uh, they don't take it seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, they feel they can date this one, they can go to that one, they mm -hmm. can go to that. Mm -hmm. And there are different lifestyles that they develop. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they develop the attitude that they can have this lady or that lady or this man or that man, mm -hmm. then when it comes to marriage, mm. where the, uh, it is supposed to be um, a, a, a holy matrimony where people are committed to each other, mm. you find that uh, somebody comes in with that baggage okay. of the past. Yeah. They feel that uh, they can have that same attitude within the marriage. Mm -hmm. And that tends to uh, bring um, uh, the, this, the, the, this issue mm. where they can cheat mm -hmm. uh, their, their spouses. Mm -hmm. Another thing is um, possibly the level of education. So when you have a degree, you cheat? No. <laughs> uh, they may feel that uh, they, they are able to cheat. Okay. Uh, if the, maybe the, the, the girl is not uh, in the, the same bracket, Oh. or maybe in, mm -hmm. a, in a different bracket, higher up or lower. Mm -hmm. There's that kind of perception mm. that they can always get away with it. Mm. Mm. So you find that uh, they, 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 they will get into that trap mm. of, of cheating. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And if, if I may ask, for young couple who are looking forward to get married, yes. you've mentioned about uh, when you're dating, sometimes yes. people think, you know, the fact that you can date multiple people, even yeah. when you get into marriage, mm. you feel like you can you know, go around with different people. Mm. Should a young couple have mm. this discussion before marriage or after marriage? Precisely. Mm -hmm. um, it is good that they have a discussion mm -hmm. because that's how they get to know each other. Mm. If they don't have a discussion, they may get into marriage without knowing the character mm. of uh, the other person. Mm -hmm. And they may, g they may get surprises along the way. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were like this. Yeah, yes, you know, yeah. I was thinking you're like this, mm -hmm. but you know, thoughts will not count at that time <laughs> <laughs> when, yeah. when, when problems have arisen. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is good for them to have a discussion mm -hmm. before marriage. Mm -hmm. And I, I tend to believe that these days mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, premarital counseling in many churches yeah. or in many organizations which help young people mm. uh, to recognize mm -hmm. the issues before they get into uh, matrimony. Mm. And also, after uh, they are married, mm -hmm. nothing stops them mm -hmm. from discussing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that we need to do this about mm -hmm. our marriage, mm -hmm. so that uh, in the long run, mm -hmm. if it happens, mm -hmm. You can go back and say we discussed yes. this. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. If you can go back to Narams, uh, at what point did you have a discussion with your wife about your infidelity during that time? Every time I used to cheat on my wife, mm -hmm. there's this thing that we developed during our courtship. Mm -hmm. We used to be very good friends. So anything I did, mm -hmm. I told her. I used to tell her. Mm. Yeah. Even when I used to cheat, eh? Nilikuwa na muambia, na muambia leo nimefanya ujinga fulani. You see that thing kwa sababu in, in, in our marriage there is mm -hmm. there is this thing that tumeeka. Mm. We are friends before even anything else. Mm -hmm. We are friends. Ukiona issue unaniambia, nikiona issue ninakuambia. Mm -hmm. So for me it was easier for me kumwambia and the reason why nilikuwa namwambia mm -hmm. it was because si nilikuwa nikitaka. 
Oh, yani yeah. you are trying to get out of this one mm -hmm. unataka akusaidie vile uta, utamaliza mm -hmm. but kesho yake unajipata umerudia the same things Thing. yeah. yeah the same same mm -hmm. same thing so for me uh, the point of discussion mm -hmm. i think it il, ilikuwa kama daily because i used to see it daily ilikuwa it's a daily thing and how was her reaction during that time her reaction mm -hmm. nitaweza sema ni vitu mbili mm -hmm. alikuwa anasafa but at the same time ile covenant yenye tuliambia na we will be friends ndio mm -hmm. ilikuwa ina mkip mm -hmm. but ndani yake nilikuwa najua ana anaumia mm -hmm. yeah so for you cheating was not a choice uh, cheating was I, i'll just say it's a choice mm -hmm. that is a choice that you make mm -hmm. but uh, deep inside mm -hmm. siko nikitaka oh, okay nikitu mpaka nilikuwa nakuja sometimes nikimwambia na nalia natoa machozi like nimefanya hii sitaki mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay um faith for you when you were dating this married man did it make you feel like you know a bit superior a bit powerful or something like that at some point i almost let pride get the best of me mm -hmm. but kila time nilikuwa nafika jioni na jirudia mm -hmm. you know this person if they have birthdays mm -hmm. would you invite your your side chick no. <laughs> yeah, anniversaries maybe yeah. they're celebrating a new win you mm -hmm. can't be there and yeah. at the end of the day unajipata call even lonely mm -hmm. cuz you are thinking about somebody else's life wish okay. maisha yako sasa maisha mm. shabi yake na maisha mm. yake sasa mm. cuz they have things to discuss na akikuja kwanza akuambie anything to do with their family ina mm -hmm. kuumiza mo you are like when what am i now Oh. you feel left out mm -hmm. at the end of the day ulikona nilik okay i would feel so lonely mm -hmm. and so bad over time nilikuwa jaribu sana nitaacha aje should i talk to my mom about it mm -hmm. should i talk to my friends nenda youtube kuangalia kama kuna mtoto ameongelea kitu kama hii there's yeah. no one that mm -hmm. time there was no one talking about these mm -hmm. these kind of things mm -hmm. na google nothing mm -hmm. if Dr. google would google. be asked <laughs> hey they were even encouraging you like how mm -hmm. do you stay with a married man oh, how should Jesus. you mm -hmm. so okay. you were like Kony, kony, yeah, what's, what's not happening, happening. so mm. I, so even when you are in that situation you'd sometimes yeah. feel good and sometimes feel guilty about it yeah yeah ah it's that's obvious that's expected actually but i thought the married men you know they come to you and you know you feel like you know i'm the better one why would you feel uh, guilty and you're not the wife like see una kwa cheated on how did the guilt come about the okay, guilt ca came about mm -hmm. tenye unasikia wife ni mgonjwa mm -hmm. then he comes to you mm -hmm. as a comfort and atakuja kutafuta solace kwako mm -hmm. so kwa like if what if tables were turned around ninge feel aje maybe mgu yangu ni mume niko kwa nyumba mm -hmm. and my husband is not there to take care of me mm -hmm. kunipeleka hosi maybe niko na mimba and mm -hmm. i'm the one carrying the baby alone mm -hmm. if tables were turn, turned around ninge feel aje so oh. ndo guilt guilt ilikuwa ina hit sana oh, so at some point there's that conscious yeah, you're like yeah, you know if someone was doing is. this definitely ah uh, yeah i mm. get your point uh, mr dixon will marriage remain the same after infidelity yes and no mm -hmm. yeah but i want first to comment on what faith was saying yes sure the guilt really comes because you f you feel you're not in the right place oh yeah, yeah. Mm. your conscience disturbs you yeah okay yeah mm -hmm. and uh, if perhaps you know god mm -hmm. exactly. you'll find mm -hmm. that i'm in the wrong place i'm sinning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm making this situation worse for this lady mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if i'm discovered what next yeah. you know so uh, already that is the position mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then um uh, uh, following your question yes uh it is yes and no mm -hmm. uh because um one uh you you'll find that uh when 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 uh, infidelity has happened mm -hmm. and marriage needs to be corrected mm -hmm. it is possible mm. it is possible when uh, the two people involved mm -hmm. the husband and the wife mm -hmm. in this case mm -hmm. leaving out the, the the person who was the third party yes the two people involved mm -hmm. can really uh, commit to want to resolve their differences. Mm -hmm. Secondly, mm -hmm. it needs for the offender or the person who was offended mm -hmm. in this case. <laughs> the yeah, offender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has, he has created an, of, an offense. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he is ready mm -hmm. to ask for forgiveness. Oh, okay. Yeah, from mm -hmm. from the partner. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he is ready to ask for forgiveness and he does, mm -hmm. Is the other party ready to forgive? They are oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So if the two agree on that uh, route, mm -hmm. then it is possible. Mm. However, mm -hmm. 
no, let me mention a third one. Mm -hmm. The third one is for uh, to come to uh, um, a therapist mm. and work things together. Oh, okay. If the two of them agree, mm. they can work and 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 they'll find that they can get a footing mm -hmm. as they go along. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, I said no mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it depends depends on the reaction. Mm. The reaction between the two. Yes. When one is discovered, mm -hmm. there might be a lot of yelling oh, okay. and shouting mm. and and blaming. Mm. Mm? Yeah. You did this behind my back. Okay. Okay. Mm. And uh, when that happens, there's an emotional separation. Exactly. Apoko yeah. emotional separation. Yeah. Let me just cut you short, and mm. we will be right back. Yes. Tomorrow on she in an African setup, you realize that as young women, as, as young girls especially, we are taught not to love money. You'll call him, Let's I'm at school, go. I don't have money, and he'll tell you, you know what, I also don't have money. As a woman, sometimes you slow down when you get married, and that sort of affects your finances. That is okay yes. to nurture the family, yeah. but where money is coming from, how business is doing, how business is coming in, mm. be a participant. Mm. It's tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Welcome back to The Corner. And today we have been discussing about infidelity in marriage. And before we took a short break, uh, Mr. Dixon, we were talking about the reaction after infidelity. Does marriage remain the same? And you are on a point where you're discussing about emotional uh, separation. If you can expand on that. Yes, there's emotional separation mm -hmm. uh, when, when infidelity happens. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, as I said earlier, uh, there's uh, anger, mm -hmm. there's yelling, there's mm -hmm. you know, all that. Yes. This is somebody you trusted, mm -hmm. somebody you believed in, mm -hmm. somebody you cared for, yeah. mm -hmm. somebody you are intimate with. Mm -hmm. yeah? And all of a sudden, something happens. Mm. I can't believe you did this. Yes. Yeah? I trusted you. Mm. Yeah? Mm. How could you cheat on me? Mm. So already you are shouting at one another, mm -hmm. distancing yourself mm -hmm. emotionally. If I can go back to Narams, during that time, whenever you, you used to tell your wife almost every day, yeah. if you weigh your marriage back then mm -hmm. and right now after you are reformed, mm -hmm. how would you see you know, the difference? Yeah, the difference is quite big mm -hmm. because if I look back, mm -hmm. At the time I used to cheat on my wife, uh, the marriage and uh, like uh, family-wise, it was not okay. Mm -hmm. But I've come to learn one thing, mm -hmm. that when you become committed to one person, when you become committed to your partner, mm -hmm. even God opens a lot of doors to, uh, for you. Mm -hmm. God will open a lot of doors. Mm -hmm. So if Nikiangalia Nyuma, Ninona, a lot of difference. The day I used to cheat, Nikona Fikira, Nikona Pesa Mingi, Nikona Dhaniani, that hype <laughs> life mm -hmm. you get. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, I have come to learn uh, the things that matters most mm. in life. Mm. So right now, Nina, as I say, ma, when you become committed, mm -hmm. your life in acquire the best type of life. Mm. And then you you also guilt free, no na live a happy life. Mm. You know, akuna kitumba kama ukwe na kili inakusumbua that yes. conscious ina inakusumbua. Mm. It is good that when you know the truth, the truth will set will set you free. Mm. So if you look back uh, then when you I was cheating uh, right now, mm. I would say like, right now I'm living a happy life. Mm. Neza kuwa sai sina pesa, mm -hmm. but I think I am living a very happy life. Mm. More than that time, I yeah. used to think like uh, dunia mzima ni yangu. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can do yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, and you know, nowadays in our society, especially this mm. generation, it's like cheating. Uh, the society is more like normal, normalizing cheating. It, it, it like, is very normal. Yes, they're no, which mm. it's not. Yeah, it's supposed be, exactly. Which it's, it's, it's not. not. It's supposed to be abnormal. Mm. But uh, my question will be: will go to faith. Mm. And now during this time, mm. you know, people where they are normalizing cheating. What are maybe other dangers of cheating? Where there are dangers, mm -hmm. kwa relationship watu kwa ngana ugonjwa, heartbreak, ama mimba. <laughs> so, obviously, kuna one of it, utatoka na one of it hapo. Mm -hmm. Kasi ugonjwa ni mimba, kasi mm -hmm. mimba ni heartbreak. Mm -hmm. And uh, over time, nimekuja kulan, mm -hmm. that, uh, okay, okay, when you are cheating, mm -hmm. ata ya kili yako mostly haiko settled. Because you don't know when you're going to be ambushed. You don't know who is watching out for you. Yeah. And you know the society takes the side of the man, not mm -hmm. the woman. Mm -hmm. For him, 
hata hakuna mtu anaweza muangalia lakini fe everybody mm. will look at me how comes kwani ni mchipaje kwani anaingia like how would you go out with a married man mm -hmm. and mostly mwanamke si anaonekana mwanamume si anaonekana sana mm. it is the woman the woman will focus mostly on the so, uh, the society will focus mostly on the woman mm -hmm. juu wanaona ni kama ni anajaribu kutenganisha boma yeah. na there is no hard name mm -hmm. kusafisha kama kuitwa adultery zama hiyo oh, yeah. mm -hmm. akuna ngaji na ngumu kai hiyo kusafisha right now yeah <laughs> I took a whole year without going back to my family. Mm. That was last year. I couldn't go there. Jusiko nataka mse yote tutumelelewa na yeye ama anione. Yaani kuna ile aibu. So if you get in to cheat and just know you're going to get a lot of shame from it. Mm -hmm. Lazima wasi watu. Na yeye huwezi mm. epuka but for the man mm. up to date he's standing. Kwanza yeah. maisha imeendelea vizuri kabisa. Eh. But mine had mm -hmm. to be stagnated to some extent. Mm -hmm. You are maybe genuinely there mm. but and things just happen and you are mm. the one to be blamed for yeah so if kuna danger some mobs are now yeah mm. uh before i get back to mr dixon prince during that time was your ego involved like whenever you cheat would you feel like you know there's that we call man ego mm. was it maybe a factor uh, that led you maybe into cheating or doing what you were doing of course you see well, when a guy has too many women mm -hmm. and i feel he owns the world mm -hmm. yeah is that ego that pride mm. uh, uh, it's, um, it's a man ego mm. una feel a hey, dunia mm. i have conquered all so <laughs> wendo kusema <laughs> <laughs> wendo kusema but deep inside mm -hmm. uno mm. yeah mr dixon if i may ask yes. when it comes to a couple setup yes. and one of the couple is cheating mm. should we blame the married person or should we blame let's say now the third party i think it is obvious <laughs> it is obvious that you blame the third party that is coming into that marriage mm -hmm. because uh, uh, when you even read the scriptures mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, in Genesis 2, uh, 23, mm -hmm. where uh, uh, Adam mm -hmm. claimed, now this is the bone of my bones, mm -hmm. yeah, the flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. So it was one rib mm -hmm. that God created for mm -hmm. one man. Mm -hmm. So anything that comes in between mm -hmm. is interfering with that relationship. Mm. And you find that uh, uh, in, 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 um, in a psychological uh, situation, mm -hmm. it causes a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. It will cause stress for the two. Uh, it will close, uh, co cause confusion. Uh, uh, you know, there will be uh, fights about it. Mm -hmm. And so it is not a good situation mm. uh, where uh, the two are. And so the third party mm -hmm. has come in, mm -hmm. like the word she used to adulterate. Mm -hmm. You know, when you mm. buy petrol in the petrol station, you mm -hmm. want it to be pure, yes. pure petrol. Yeah. You don't want somebody adding paraffin or mm -hmm. something else. Mm. Yeah? When your car goes, then mm. it begins to, to, to jerk. <laughs> you want yeah. your marriage to be okay. Mm. And so you, the third party is the uh, offending party, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. But let's say not mm. to advocate for the third party, yeah. but in a situation where it's the man mm. who approached this third party. This third party was actually minding her own business. Yeah. And then this man mm. goes ahead, mm. obviously with persuading with money and whatever thing they persuade with. Mm. Is that situation still the same? The third party should be blamed? The third party should be blamed still. Mm -hmm. But of course you know that in situations like uh, he was talking about mm -hmm. uh, uh, being a man, mm -hmm. you know, men uh, tend to do anything they can get away with. Mm. So long as it is not discovered, mm -hmm. mm, they may want to do things behind their wife's back. Yeah. It may not, it may not be so obvious for ladies. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. But uh, when uh, that happens, then of course, like you're saying, uh, they, they, they use their money, their influence. Yes. One of the uh, areas that is a risk area mm -hmm. is the socio-economic area. Mm where somebody climbs the ladder mm -hmm. and now they feel that, ah, now I've reached. Yes. I can now uh, take Approach this one. Approach anyone. I can take that one. Mm -hmm. My wife will not know. Mm. And even if she knows, what can she do? Yeah. You know, that mm. attitude mm. is the wrong attitude. Mm. And for Narams, now, now that you are reformed, what are some of the boundaries, you know, you have set so that, you know, you may not slip back to the other side? Finding uh, things that uh, you can do together as a couple. Mm. When I decided to reform, mm. uh, for us, we decided to start a YouTube channel. Ah. The reason being, 
at least this is something that we can do together. Yes. The, the way I see other women being waki onyesho maisha poa. Yani you take those steps, yeah. those ba baby steps. Mm -hmm. Na unajipata, eh, hey, kumbe ilikuwa si ngumu. Mm. You know, being faithful, is, it is not hard. Mm. It's a choice that you make. Mm -hmm. So some of the steps that you, you take mm. first, ni ku make that decision. Mm. And nasira, you see? Yes. I won't tell you ati ni kuambia ati uwa mtu wa asiki yama unakuwa na those challenges mm -hmm. but it's a it's a journey mm -hmm. it's a uh, it's a long journey mm -hmm. una make your decision mm -hmm. na unaendelea oh, mm -hmm. that's very nice faith for you what kind of boundaries you know now that your experience dating a married man was not good now what mm -hmm. what are the boundaries that you've set to mm -hmm. make sure you know i, I don't want to get, go back to that kind of lifestyle <laughs> You know, <laughs> when a married man and a co approach, would you have a co approach? Mm -hmm. But in either way, mm -hmm. uh, I've of course set boundaries. So I decided to go back to school, mm -hmm. uh, rebuild myself because that time I was illiterate. Mm -hmm. You know, ili akili ya ute kwa na mwanaume, ndi kwa wakitu yangu. Right now I'm enlightened. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to having a perfect marriage as well because mm -hmm. I'm not getting younger anymore. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. And also spiritually, I am. Uh, I'm being fed the word of God by my pastor. Like, mm. you need baby steps bad because it cost a lot mm. in me. So mm. uh, we are still working on me first mm. before we allow somebody else to come yeah. to my life yeah. again. But right now, of course, the obvious boundary. Come on, Please don't. It's closed. That door yeah. is closed completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, come here. Uh, Adawa. You'll discuss. We'll discuss. <laughs> but in Guinea, I'll shut your mouth before you say uh, anything. Mm -hmm. You may never know. Come on, Tomeo. Oh, or no, not. No, that's the no, biggest no. problem. That is they the biggest never show you. Yeah. <laughs> you always do. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. For you, Prince, would you go and tell those uh, people uh, that you're married? Will you go and tell you're single? Surely, watch out to face the truth. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unaweza approach them mwambie eh unajua mimi nimeoa niko na watoto saba. Lakini mm. <laughs> nakutaka it, it is impossible. No. Yes. Yeah. Hata una unaangalia una, una make sure hiyo swali hata isikali. Ukiona inakuja eh? una divert kitu. <laughs> si of, of course there's yeah. a way utajua mwanaume ameoa. Exactly. Simu zake usiku anapiga saa ngapi? Nikwambie kitu. Mhm. Mm Ulikuwa unatoka nje. When a man wants kukuficha. <laughs> yes. Hautajua. Eh? Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can a single lady mm -hmm. be friends with a married man? Of course. Mm. Pure friendship, yeah. Mr. Dixon. The, 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 she gave us the example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a single lady, a married man. Mm. Yeah, and like uh, uh, my brother here was saying, yeah. uh, the men hide. Yes. Yeah, and uh, they will, he will not know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that is the point. Mr. Narams, now that you are reformed, you are born again, and yeah. all that, what should you tell a man out there who is, you know, yeah, I can top, and now I can cheat. Do that's the way to live life. What can you tell such a person? I think this is what I will tell a fellow men. Mm. Almost daily, I get more than twenty calls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what wa kilia, wanaume, wa mm -hmm. reform. Mm -hmm. It is possible for you not to cheat. Mm. It is very possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. It is very possible. You just make that decision. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So it is po it is, it doable. is possible. Yeah, it is doable. No, oh, okay. No. Uh for faith. Mm. Now that you're reformed, you're focusing on yourself, uh, your goals and all that. <laughs> if there is somebody out there, you know, who's actually because I know there are ladies who are actually looking for married men. Yeah. Not even the married men are looking yeah, for them. Yeah. It's the vice versa. What can you tell such a person? Um, let's go to the ones who want to be there. Yeah. <laughs> a man who wants to ejaculate outside his marriage will not use a CD. Mm -hmm. You're the one who is going to abort those babies. Mm -hmm. You're the one who is going to have hormonal imbalances in your body. Mm -hmm. And um, the other thing, when you are, when you are mejipata, we could find out uh, three months later this guy is married yeah. actually. Yeah. Try to fight so much. <laughs> this, person, Run. this person will ruin your life, your mm -hmm. career, mm -hmm. and you never ever have your sti the time for you. You mm -hmm. always think about this other person. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you never be free. Mm -hmm. So I just say that for now. Yeah. Faith, what lessons have you learned from your past experience? I've learned over the experience mm -hmm. that this man, mm -hmm. if you want your own man, there are a lot of men on a kujana ku approach. Mm -hmm. You begin from that place. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Narams, what lessons did, did you learn from your past experience? Number one, mm -hmm. I have learned that uh, God restores. Yeah. Yeah. 
it is possible for you not to cheat, mm -hmm. even though maybe umeko kwa hiyo shida. Mm -hmm. yes. When you're committed to your partner, yes. your wife, mm -hmm. God will open a lot of doors for you. Mm -hmm. So I think those are the most uh, three basic lessons that mm -hmm. I learn mm -hmm. from my own experience. Mm -hmm. To our viewers back at home, thank you so much for watching. I hope this conversation you've learned a lesson. And at the end of the day, infidelity does not come with any advantages. Mm -hmm. I think from the experience both uh, our guest has shared and also from our marriage counselor, mm -hmm. there is no any benefit in cheating. So let us keep our vows and let us stick to our partners. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Same place, same time.